Hi everyone, this is Zombie, and welcome to another one of my Dungeon Boss videos. As I'm sure you're all aware, the 5th Guild Games has begun. Um, here at Level Capped, we're fully underway to securing our 5th win. We've won the last 4 Guild Games, with the 4th being a kind of uh, a snipe of the century. We're midway, to explain some of the history of that, midway through the last Guild Games, the devs unfortunately made a bit of a mistake with the back-end uh, system. And any progress that we'd made midweeks, I think it was Thursday that it was reset. Um, if we'd not claimed any of our tickets as part of the quest lines, all of those tickets that were unclaimed were wiped. Uh, the devs came back to us and said that they couldn't fix it, and we had to continue on as we planned. Uh, we revealed our plan on the forums, but to go over that really quick, we decided that we'd do a snipe. We'd make it look like we'd given up so that when the leaderboards were released, the uh, other top guilds thought, oh, well, they've not bothered with doing it anymore. Um, so that they would then take the foot off the pedal. The intention being that it was to create a degree of complacency in the guilds and it actually worked. They kind of slowed their efforts down but we redoubled ours and we kept all of our ticket submissions held back. Um, and then on the final day, we figured out a plan to submit them in three different stages so that again, we didn't draw attention to what we were doing. And then in the end, we won by about 600,000 tickets. So uh, yeah, it was exciting times on the last Guild Games. We're hoping this one will be replicated. One thing I wanted to do, though, is rather than being all shrouded in secrecy like we normally are in level capped, and some of you may think that we are uh, far too secret, far too serious about what we do, but, you know, we're not. I wanted to share some of the very hard um, uh, levels that we've been doing. So the, you've got the Warriors Arena. And what I wanted to do is uh, let you guys see the um, solo runs that we're doing. So each the, the Warriors Arena, when you find it, you have to look for that purple monk hidden away in three of the dungeons. Um, the dungeons, I will dig up and show you what they are shortly. Um, but you go through, you beat five of those, and then you get access to the Warriors Arena. When you go into the Warriors Arena, you have to complete it solo with, an, with a uh, hero of your choice. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do several videos on this just to show you guys in the other guilds. I've no doubt that other top guilds have got no problem with doing this and they've already figured it out. But some of the middle tier guilds, if you need any kind of help on this, then refer to these videos. Give them a watch um, and it may well help you and your guildmates out to get some of those rewards coming out from Dungeon Boss. So first up, we're going to cover Astrid. Um, with Astrid, we've managed to figure out the numbers that you need for the defense to be able to completely auto run the warriors arena dungeon so let's go and take a look at some of those stats where is she so i've got her to five star i've not got her to six yet and what we need to do is have that defense bonus just there at over three thousand if you get it at somewhere over 3,000, 3, then the end boss can't do any damage to you. If you keep it at around 2,600 or above, none of the mobs can hurt you, but the end boss will. So you can auto run it to a degree and you know that you're going to be safe, even with 2,600 defense or more. Um, what happens is, because Astrid's got this ability called just a scratch, I think it is. Where is it? No, it's a passive. We can find it just a scratch there you go essentially if your defense is greater than the enemy's attack they'll do only one damage to you when they hit but it'll also increase your attack by 10 percent so on this uh warriors arena level your attack starts to build up really fast when they're repeatedly hitting you over and over so you end up doing some quite serious damage at one point i think i had something like um, over 200 percent extra damage so triple damage being done um, and so with that you're able to auto run this quite nicely so let's get straight to it and show you the dungeon itself. So I've got one ready. Hunt for the arena, yes please. Let's go and check it out. So the rewards are quite good. 
um, for VH. I'm not going to do medium level because I, I imagine that most middle tier guilds are going to be able to do that quite easily. Um, before, we were sort of hoping that we'd get runes on each one of these runs, but now they're actually giving out um, stuff like Essence and I think even maybe uh, Jewels as well. But So the rewards that aren't, gem uh, aren't runes are actually still pretty good. Let's change him. Let's get Astrid. She should be at the top somewhere. There she is. So I take heal potions as well, just in case. Um, for the other runs that I'll do, the other videos involving Hansuk and Brom and a few other guys, best to have three heal potions in there just in case something does go awry and you get damaged and then you can fix yourself without causing too much hassle. It's important to say that if you do go through this and you fail on very hard and medium versions, you can retry it. Uh, you won't lose the go. So let's get her straight into it. So as you'll see, attack starts to get increased. These guys can't actually damage her apart from doing that one. And so that we don't take a long time doing the video and you guys don't get bored, I will speed things up by doing some damage. As I say, we have looked at some other uh, guys that can run the dungeons, and there are plenty of others that can do it. But this one just means that you can, if you're being lazy, you can set it to auto run and then not pay any attention to it until it's done. That gets rid of the Yoko. The, the painful bit is if Yoko goes and does a daze on you, then it can really drag this level out. It's not particularly fast with, um, with Astrid if you focus her on defense. We'll have a look at the runes for her afterwards as well. I crafted a couple of nice ones earlier today. Now these guys take a while to kill because they're blue and she's red. But even their charge doesn't do any damage. Look, again, because her defense is way higher than those guys' attack value. Right, so on something like this is when she started to have her attack really boosted up. There it is. That dazed. Such a pain in the arse. I'll wait till it fades and then I'll use some abilities to get this speed up. Oops, missed it. I keep missing it, it's so crap. Um, so one thing to say as well, that boost that you get from um, those guys attacking you does actually fade out once you move on to another room. So it goes and it resets back to zero again. Let's finish one of these off, speed it up. About 200% extra damage there you see, so it's a triple. There we go, that's those two killed. So when it moves on, that gets reset. Two Yokos, this will be painful. There we go. So here he is, so let's finish him off. So as you can see, it doesn't do anything. So I could literally have that on auto run and not need to worry about it. But let's kill him off. And there we go. Let's hope that we get a good rune chest. Come on runes, there we go. Let's see what we get, two blues. And oh, that looks, oh, look at that. Don't you just hate it when Dungeon Boss does that to you? Ugh, never mind. What's this one? Ugh, pretty good. 
but it has to be an improved. Never mind. So, back to the main menu. Let's look at Astrid's runes, and then we are done, and I can get on with the uh, next video that I'll make for you guys to see. So, back down to Astrid, because we forgot to see her runes before. <clears throat> So to get her defense up to 3,000, you do need some pretty heavy um, runes to be in there. So I keep getting these notifications coming with the new iOS. I have to turn those off again. So uh, for this one, plenty of defense, some health. I made that one earlier. Not great because of the dark resist, but the defense is what I was after for it. Um, she's got some attack and then a bit of health and a bit of extra defense there. So there you go. That's what brings us up then to those stats. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm going to make some more videos, as I say. Uh, rattle, hopefully get about rattle out about four or five or so to see what we can get out there, see if it helps you. If you've got any requests on anything else that help you with the guild games, then do let me know. I then can make a video for it if appropriate or maybe respond in the comments if it's going to help you guys out because we want everyone to enjoy the guild games. We want everyone to do well. That's all for now, guys. Please leave comments, questions, or suggestions in the comments section below. I'll always try to answer. Remember to check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more Dungeon Boss videos, or search for Zombie Dungeon Boss in Google or YouTube for more. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.